Hello, in this uh, short video tutorial I'm gonna guide you through how to create your own templates from scratch. So if you would like to design your template, the first thing you have to do, you have to create a document in your Google Drive. Basically uh, one document defines uh, one template. So I created the document, I name it my template. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do here, actually I'm gonna adjust the uh, page setup. Uh, you can change the orientation, size, color, color but uh, I'm gonna get rid of the uh, margins. So we can utilize the entire uh, page, uh, page size. And now you have to insert a table, the main table, which will hold the main, uh, the entire layout. Uh, in this case, I would like to have in the output document four uh, entries per row. So I'm inserting a table with four columns. So the add-on will uh, then uh, insert um, values from each row from spreadsheet into uh, into a new column but it will insert max uh, for four entries per row and then it, it will move to another row uh, now you have to define so-called tags or uh, placeholders each uh, tag must be enclosed in double curly brackets so let's start defining uh, uh, first uh, tag. So this is a valid tag definition. Uh, when I go back to the uh, spreadsheet, here we have, a, we have a product code, email and product name. So in the product code tag, I would like to encode these values. I'm gonna show you later how to do it via the mapping, but then uh, I'm gonna place there either other tags so here we're gonna have a product code values encoded as a QR code. I just wanna have them in the middle, the QR codes. Uh, then we're gonna insert some separator. Uh, here I would like to have the product name. Uh, the product name will be inserted or processed as a normal text field. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, you can use all the formattings you have here. If you're gonna send a, a document on a color printer, then you can set uh, colors as well. And uh, now below the name, let's put there the email. Please contact us at you can also as well put the text labels around the around the text. That's all good. So the email here will be uh, in bold, and then let's say I would like to have also the email as a, as a QR. As some smarter QR code readers can detect that actually in the QR code is an email, and it all already opens a, a Gmail app for you. Uh, you can easily contact uh, the email or send an email to the, the uh, what is encoded there. And I think we are pretty much uh, done here. Uh, so the very basic, we have the very basic template, few rules to remember. You have to always insert the main table. A uh, number of columns in the main table will uh, define how many entries you will have in the output document. Keep the other columns empty and you can also adjust the page settings. You can uh, set the uh, background colors. You can even adjust the border settings. Just do it in the, always into the first cell and the layout of the and format uh, of the first cell will be replicated to the other cell in the output document. Okay, so we are done with the with the template. So next step, what we need to do, we need to load the template. If you uh, uh, would like to use a different template, you just load it. 
for this encoding session, we will uh, use uh, this uh, template to encode uh, values what we have in the spreadsheet. Next step is to tell the add-on how to process and um, how to map the values from the spreadsheet to the text in the template. That's why we have here the mapping editor. Here on the left you can see a list of text from the template and on the right you can set how the each uh, uh, value from a spreadsheet should be processed. So first of all, you, first of all, you need to tell the add-on where to take the data from. So for the product code, I want to take data from the product code column. And I want to process them as a QR code in a medium size. And let's say, let's set some color. For the name, Let's take data from the product name column and just simply process it as a text. There are no more options here. If you leave it as a text, it will take uh, whatever is here in the value, like P1, P2, P3, and simply insert them into the output document. For the email, we do it similarly, just take the values from email as text. And for the email as QR, we take the values from the email column, but in this case, we would like to have them as a, a QR code. And let's say small and set the, let's make it red. Okay, we mapped all the, uh, we mapped all the text, what we have in the template to source columns. So the, now the add-on knows how to process and everything and do the magic. And we can generate the output document and see the final uh, final result what's going on now now the add-on process all the data rows yeah so we have 10 rows here uh, difference between the old way or when you just use these uh, the previous version here the add-on processes uh, the codes in the batches and either the batch uh, processes up to 10 10 uh, rows uh, per row <coughs> So let's have a look at the uh, final document. So as we had in the template, we have uh, first the blue uh, blue QR code, then we have an email and name in red, and then email in red uh, QR code. So this is how it looks like, and we have four. Yeah, we have four. Uh, four entries per, per row because in the main template we uh, uh, we uh, inserted table which has four rows. The last thing I would like to highlight here sometimes or many times actually usually what happens that you might end up with a, a table cell which starts uh, on one page and ends on the other page. Uh, Currently, the add-on cannot handle this. Hopefully, in the future, if I have more time, I can play play with it and uh, uh, make it automatically. But there is one handy trick. If you click on the main table, and then you have here option distribute rows. When you click that one, Google Docs will automatically the, um, redistribute all the all the table cells. And it will make sure that there are no uh, no cells which starts on one page and uh, finishes on the other other page. So that's a super simple trick. After you generate a bunch of uh, QR codes, it could be a very large document. You just click on the option to redistribute the rows, and you are you are done. Uh, this uh, first video regarding the templates, I will be covering more complex scenarios, how you can uh, leverage uh, the templates, and that will be in the, in the future videos. Thank you for watching.